on this Earth Day, we are taking a look at our country's majestic and fragile forest. President Biden, he's expected to sign an executive order today to protect these critical natural spaces. And our Kana Whitworth, she's got more from a very special place in Virginia. Hey, Kana. Hey, Cecilia, good morning. So I am standing in one of the oldest black maples in the state of Virginia. At 150 years old, I spoke with arborists who take care of it, and they say that while people can be part of the problem in this changing environment, we can also be the solution. Earth's three trillion trees can be considered the planet's lungs, taking in carbon dioxide and breathing out the oxygen we need to live. Along with other vegetation, trees capture about a third of our annual global fossil fuel emissions, a key defense in our warming world. But since the 1900s, Earth has lost almost 2.5 billion acres of forest. That's roughly the size of the United States. The result of disease, logging, and extreme conditions caused by climate change. Saving our forests is the subject of National Geographic Magazine's May issue. In the Carolinas, some areas that were once lush cypress groves are now what scientists call due to encroaching salt, in part from rising sea levels. It's risen over 11 inches since 1950 in North Carolina, so this is not something that's going to happen in the future. It's something that has already happened. And in California, wildfire threatens our giant sequoias, trees that can live more than 3,000 years, now burning in record numbers. It took two years to destroy 19 percent of these trees and these things have been around since the birth of Jesus. Julius sees this one ignited by a windblown ember last year. It took creative intervention to put out the fire. Firefighters climbing up hundreds of feet to where I'm at now with hoses. And without that intervention, this tree would have continued to burn for months. And from this high up, the wind cat embers for months, threatening the entire Sequoia National Forest. Clip it to yourself. Showing me the ropes. So I start by pulling my feet up. Forest canopy scientist Anthony Ambrose. So we've had to climb about 75, 80 feet in the air before we reached a limb. And that's one of the ways that these trees are so protected from fire, right? Because the ground fire isn't going to torch their limb. Yeah, exactly. It hard gets this really thick bark. So the trees generally uh, aren't harmed at all. So when you're seeing a sequoia on fire, and that means we're dealing with more intense, hotter, more frequent fires. Yeah, that's exactly correct. We weren't very concerned about climate change hitting the sequoias maybe even just 10 years ago, but now we're starting to get a little bit more alarmed. Over in Syracuse, New York, William Powell's team is using genetic engineering to bring a disease-ravaged species back from functional extinction the American chestnut. With modern techniques and biotechnology, we've actually discovered a way to make the tree tolerant of this blight that has wiped it out. Once planted, it will be a century before they thrive, but Powell believes this blueprint can help save the future of our forests. For example, the cypress, if you could develop lines that are more salt taut, theoretically, you could also make trees more fire tolerant by just changing a few genes in the tree. Each tree still standing, adapting to a changing planet. There used to be millions of those American chestnuts all throughout Virginia, and tomorrow some people plan on reintroducing them. But it takes arborists and scientists getting high up into the canopies of these trees to keep them healthy. Because, Cecilia, from up here you can really see things like disease and decay that you simply just cannot see from the ground. I also imagine, Kana, what a beautiful view you have up there, 200 feet above ground. How did you get up there? What's it like? Right, so the sequoia was incredible, absolutely majestic. The sheer size is, is hard to fathom sometimes. We use these rope systems to keep those trees healthy. And when you get up high like that, it's really hard not to feel a responsibility that we all have to keep these trees healthy, you guys. Absolutely. So true. So much respect. Be safe getting down there, Kana, you and the team. Thank you, everybody. You can find more. Absolutely. <laughs> you, can, you can find more on Saving Our Forest on NatGeo.com. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.